boy! A big boy who could have removed those dumb girls' brains no problem if I wanted to! <gasps> here, here! But why? Yo, so I like Fred a lot in Mystery Incorporated. He's a bit of background, right? I grew up on everything Scooby-Doo. Even my grandpa used to call me Scooby. So I know the gang like the back of Obama. And what this show did with Fred is freaking awesome. Especially compared to... Hello, friends. My name is Fred. What's yours? He's just like how he used to be, but better. And he's way more hood than I could ever be. You're our son, Fred. Trappings in your blood. But honestly, outside of the game, this dude has a terrible life. So at the start of the show, he had a nice spacious home with a neglectful father that always talked down on his passions. And Fred, being the awesome dude he is, just takes whatever the mayor gives. Then we come to find out why he was so neglectful. It's because he's not even his real dad. Wait, are you saying that Judy Reeves is Fred's mother? But that would mean... Fred Childs is your real father. So for his whole life so far, he's been lied to and neglected by someone that's not even a part of his family. After having that revelation, Fred goes to find his real parents. And after no luck, they end up coming to him, of course. At first, they seem fine, literally like Fred in every way. You know, like a nice suburban trap family. That is until they try to jug Fred not once, but multiple times without even feeling bad about it. What's worse is that Fred has been through this so many times at this point that he literally knew what they were trying to do and tricked them first. If you're watching this, you're probably wondering what's happened to your pieces of the planospheric disc. In a word, you've been scammed, conned, bamboozled. That's three words, Fred, but I think they get the idea. So after finding out his parents' true colors, he starts living out of his whole car. Literally not bathing, brushing his teeth, nothing. For we don't know how long. And on top of all that, he walks in on this. <gasps> it's... it's horrible! <laughs> this man Fred, man. <laughs> but it has a good ending. Turns out, the father was actually trying to protect Fred from his actual parents the whole time. And the reason why he was so mean to Fred for all these years is because his good side is trapped in the parallel universe, which is something I'm not getting into in this video. All in all though, Fred's dad becomes whole again and he gets the girl and the gang in the end. But yeah man, he went from a nice home to another nice home to being homeless and he never once stopped believing in himself or his traps. Now that's someone worthy of leading Mystery Incorporated, and a big reason as to why he's my favorite member of the gang. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe and tell me what else to make a video about, because honestly I have no idea, I'm just spitballing here, just making whatever I want. And if you don't like my videos, then it is what it is. It is what it is. Peace out.